Howdy folks, welcome to part 28, we're still going through the rocket hideout. Evidently it takes two passwords to get into the boss's quarters, and apparently only a few rockets know what these passwords are, so as you may be able to guess, we're going to have to go and hunt down these rockets. Well, of course he is, he's part of the Elite Four. <laughs> yeah, idiot. I used to work for Sylph, but now I run research for Team Rocket. A meddlesome child like you needs to be punished. <laughs> so yeah, this guy used to work for Sylph. Crazy, right? Ross. <laughs> oh, jeez. Coughing! I love coughing. Anyway, we beat up Ross the Scientist. A mere tactical error. Ah, uh, that tactical error cost you the battle, my friend. Well, not friend, you idiot. Anywho, as I mentioned before, we're looking for certain grunts who happen to know the passwords. This right here happens to be one of them, so let's kick her ass. <laughs> wow, we're so running into the Team Rocket to, like, duo Pokemon, aren't we? <laughs> All we need to see now is a Meowth. <laughs> and yeah, that was Ekans. One of the few times uh, Fury Swipes was actually pretty badass. I really hate Fury Swipes. Gloom! In case anyone's forgotten, uh, Gloom is a poison slash ground type. Really easy to take out. Not gonna give you any real trouble. Especially when the best move it's gonna use on you is Absorb. Huh. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. It's so hard to come up with commentary for these battles. It's just, it's the same shit over and over again. I mean, this is nothing that I can talk about, really. See, I love Crystal. It's really fun to play. It's one thing to play and, you know, play the battles. It's another thing to talk over them. Oh, gee, who would have guessed? The password Slowpoke Tail. That's only been one of the major plot points so far for Team Rocket. <laughs> oh, what was I saying? Right. Coming up with commentary is just so much harder. And, you see, the thing is, it's because all these Pokémon... They're about the same level, and they're the same types, and it's just the same sh same strategy for all of them. Scientist Mitch. <laughs> Actually, Scientist Mitch has a ditto. Holy shit. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've seen ditto in uh, Crystal, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we've seen Transform before, but I think this is the first time we've seen ditto. So go figure, there's at least one trainer here with a different type of Pokemon. Not that it matters all that much, because uh, you have to waste a turn using Transform. And so, yeah, Fury Swipes is doing surprisingly good here. I really hate it, it usually sucks for me, but hey, whatever. Thinking is my strong suit, not battling. <laughs> so get to thinking, stop battling. Okay, don't get too excited there, uh, Mitch. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. You're challenging me to a battle? Ha! <laughs> You're nuts, but you have guts. I like that. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a password to the boss's room. <laughs> this is like my favorite rocket grunt in the whole game. <laughs> huh. And he has Eradicate. Huzzah. That being said, Raticate's actually going to be a bit of a bitch. Uh, really good low to mid-level Pokemon. Really fast, hits really hard, knows Hyper Fang. It's a good Pokemon. Anywho, though, uh, Pokemon Crystal and Gold and Silver. When I say Crystal, I'm usually referring to all three of these games. But they're designed in such a way to where, you know, you have a little more freedom. It's not so much on a straight path, like... In Pokemon Red, while it's true, if you knew what you were doing, you could go from, like, you could get the Vermilion City Gym, and then get the Saffron City Gym. Then you could probably go and get the Fuchsia City Gym, and then get the Celadon City Gym, and all that. But usually people don't go that route. They usually do it, like, one, two, three, four, Vermilion, Celadon, uh, Fuchsia, 
Saffron, you know, so on and so forth. Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystals designed in a way to where you have a little more freedom. Like, you can go to the west to Olivine City Gym and battle Chuck when you get to Cyanwood, because you have to go to Cyanwood in order to battle Jasmine. Or you can just get the Secret Potion, go back to Olivine City, battle Jasmine, and then battle Chuck. Or, or from Ecruteak City, you can head east and take on Mahogany Town. I don't know if the uh, Lake of Rage events actually start taking effect before you have the fourth gym be like the fourth gym badge cuz I'm pretty sure you can get there through Mount Mortar without uh, without having to use surf. I could be wrong, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure you can. So I'm not completely sure if you're able to start with this and then take on gym 4 or not. But my point is because of this, because of this layout that they have for the game both of these areas are about the same in difficulty, and once you do one, you're going to be more than prepared for the other. And, yeah, my first playthrough, I went east to Mahogany Town before going west, and I didn't have any trouble. <laughs> I don't know if I steam if I steamrolled the game quite like I am now, but I, I didn't have any trouble my first time playing. And so this makes it hard to come up with commentary because so... So overpowered. Oh, there's a full heal hidden there. Figured I'd show that off. I don't know many things like that in this one, but I do know some. I thought I could look at the computer, but I guess not. Anywho, though, yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep the commentary fresh and fun. Believe me, once we get through here, it's going to get back to me having shit to talk about. But anyway... We're going to take on this grunt now who doesn't like eliminating kids or battling kids. I don't know. And he sent out a Rattatat. Yay! See, it's all the same shit. <laughs> sorry, but I kick your ass, I must. Or, I'm sorry. Sorry, but kick your ass, I must. It was a joke on what he said. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ha! Huh. That kind of sounds like the rival whose name we don't know because it doesn't really have a name. <laughs> kind of strange. Ah oh, well, I'm sure we'll find this rival guy, this mean kid, before you know it. Anywho, we're going to take these stairs before going to that door with the flapping Pokemon in it. But if you come over here, you find TM46. TM46 contains the move Thief. Thief being a Dark-type attack, for one, but it also steals hold items from other Pokemon. It's not all that useful in Generation 2, at least I never found it to be. But hey, that's where it is. It Maybe you'll find a use for it. There are a lot of Pokemon that hold shit, it's just a matter of finding them. Hey! Speak of the devil. Didn't I tell you I was going to destroy Team Rocket? Tell me, who was the guy in the cape who used Dragon Pokemon? Well, that was Lance. Uh, he's one of the Elite Four, so... Yeah, there's no fucking way either of us were going to beat him. Hell, the only two trainers in history that would have... <coughs> excuse me. That I've ever beaten Lance were Blue and Red. I mean, come on, what the hell are we going to do? Huzzah, an Ultra Ball. <laughs> and now we can enter the boss's room. What? Who are you? This is the office of our leader, Giovanni. How can Giovanni have an office if Giovanni's not running Team Rocket currently? How can he have an office? I don't understand this. And you're a little late, pal. I've already done disturb the place. And don't let the fact that he's an executive intimidate you. His Pokemon are just a little bit higher up in level. That's all. Everything else is the same. He's, he's still a joke.
I like the little chicks circling around the Pokemon's head when they get confused. I don't know why, that's something that always made me laugh. God, Zubat won't stop sucking my Wooper. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Even though I'm having a bit of a rough time with the Zubat, believe me, it, it really isn't any harder than any of the other Zubats in this place were. It's just... A string of bad luck. I got confused and everything. It just went wrong. What can I say? It happens sometimes. Every now and then, things just go wrong. You know, it, it's like doing these LPs. You know, every now and then, something just goes wrong. Stuff comes up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it just, you know... Anything bad that can happen will happen. That's just the way it goes. See, I'm just, I'm having terrible luck. It just happens, kids. It happens. I know my, I know my uploads haven't been super frequently recently. I'm trying, though. It just, stuff comes up. There's nothing you can do about it. Just, stuff comes up. Isn't this fucking boring, though? Come on, finish the damn Zubat. <laughs> Finally, thank goodness. So annoying, that battle. Or, that Zubat was. We're not even done with the battle. Oh boy, Eradicate. Level 24. This is probably his best Pokemon. I don't think he has anything that's tougher than this right now. I'm sure Wooper can handle it, though. I mean, Wooper's been kicking ass, kind of. Not really, but... Well, whatever. We'll switch out to Chikorita. We'll have Chikorita kick Eradicate's ass, because I'm getting so tired of being here. Hyper Fang is still kick-ass. I love it. Well, except for when it's being used on me. Then it sucks. Fortunately, Synthesis is fantastic. Synthesis is a move just like Recover, except how much it heals is dependent on the weather, don't you know? I think if it's raining, it only heals... I think one-third as much. If it's sunny, as in someone used sunny day, it heals, I think, twice as much. And if the weather's normal, then it just heals a decent amount. I forget. I don't know the exact amounts, but basically, if it's sunny, it'll heal more. If it's not, it'll heal less. It's a fantastic move. Uh, the only downside is you only get 5 PP for it, whereas Recover gets 20 Like I said in a previous part, I like Sludge a lot. Like the attack Sludge. I like its animation in this game. Anyway, back to Wooper. And yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I, I, I got nothing. I'm out of stuff to talk about. Holy shit. <laughs> well, maybe I'll go ahead and talk about this. So, I mentioned in a previous part that Pokemon Emerald, uh, that was that playthrough was going to be a Nuzlocke. And I do have the footage for that and everything. However, though, Pokemon Emerald's going to be put off for a bit longer because one of my friends actually came up with this fantastic idea. And Pokemon Emerald's gonna be a very different playthrough from how... Ugh, fucking self-destruct. From how a Nuzlocke would go, or how these other playthroughs have been. I'll talk more about that maybe when I have nothing else to talk about. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that that playthrough's gonna turn into something else. No, I can't let this affect me. I have to inform the others! 
How stupid is he? He ran into the fucking table. Dumbass. Anyway, stay tuned for part 29.